Hello everybody, Ultimate Bricks here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Kiss Kiss Tuxedo Batman. Contains one piece, it is recommended for ages 6 and up, it is set number 5004928, and in the US, this set was available at Target for the price of $5.99. However, I was actually lucky enough to find this at my local Target for $1.78. That is of course the clearance price. However, I thought that the original price was way too expensive. However, for the uh, lower price, I decided it was uh, worth a shot to uh, check out what this thing was all about. All right, let's get right into it. It opens up right here on the side. And then out comes the uh, minifigure all assembled because of because it is a uh, keychain. Now if I was just going to put it on my keychain, it would be easy enough to just loop this around or take this one off and just loop this ring directly around my existing keychain. There's also this little thing which just says Lego on it and it also says um, trademark and copyright DC in the Lego group which I do think kind of takes away from it but I know they kind of have to have that on there. However, it is fairly large considering the size of the Lego logo. Anyways, let's take a look at the Batman fig because for me that's what this thing is really about. Because this is actually an exclusive minifigure even though it's just a keychain. This guy was never made in just traditional figure form. So as you can see there's actually a lot of printing on the sides of the arms, the sides of the legs, the front of the legs, uh, the other side of the legs and arms, also the front of the torso as well as the, uh, the whole back of the torso. So this guy has a ton of detail. The cowl is just all black, which I think it may have been cool if they included like a white cowl for some reason, you know what I mean? He's kind of different, but I guess the black cowl keeps with the consistent Batman look. Because it is a keychain, there's no way to remove the uh, head and cowl, so you can't really see the face print. However, you can see the eyes and the face. And if I spin this thing all the way around. Um, I guess I can't spin it around because of the little ears, so I can assume that there is no um, secondary expression. Anyways, in case you were wondering, um, the arms move just like regular figures, the hands move like regular figures, and if I take it off here, you can see the legs all move, so it's just it's a regular figure, just it has a little uh, thing that's um, drilled into the head. Alright, my final thoughts on the set is that I think it is a very nice Batman variant and it's kind of too bad that it was never made in just a regular minifigure form. However, I think the keychain is nice because you can kind of hook it on to something like this and kind of display it even if you don't want to have it on your keychain. And I think that the $6 retail price is um, way out of proportion. I think that that is not a good deal at all. I think that $4 would be a fair price, um, but for $1.78, I think it was just too good to pass up, so I decided to pick one up for myself. Anyways, please let me know what you think of this set in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.